Well, hello everyone, and welcome to the start of the Lizardmen campaign on Total War Warhammer 2. We're going to be playing as Lord Mazamundi. This will be a slightly edited campaign, a cross between a normal Let's Play and my Hearts of Iron 4 style challenge type video. Full transparency, this copy was provided free of charge by Creative Assembly, and I am able to show you some stuff a little bit before release. This doesn't mean that this is the final build, in fact, it definitely isn't the final build, so everything you see is still subject to change. Yeah, I'm very happy to be able to bring you a campaign a little bit early. So, what we're going to aim for here, for part one, if we can get a thousand likes, that will show me that there's interest for a Total War campaign on the channel, and I will continue the campaign, pretty much. Uh, but to start off with today, this is my faction effects, so we have minus ten diplom diplomatic relations with most factions, Construction costs minus 50% for Star Chamber buildings. Right costs minus 30%. Uh, Slan, Mage, Priest capacity plus one. Lord effects minus 50% for Temple Guard unit. That is very nice indeed. Uh, additional starting units with Mazamundi is the Bastilodon with a solar engine and Temple Guards. And our race attributes are the Geomantic Web, Special Spawnings, and Beasts suitable for every task, though some are so ferocious they may lose control and charge ahead. So that basically just means they go berserk. I'm not going to bother doing the campaign introduction, as that's more for just if, you've play if you're playing Total War for the very first time, of which I am slightly experienced. Kind of. <laughs> so without further ado, let's jump in, meet Lord Mazamundi, and experience the opening cutscene. Since the days of creation, the reptiles have dominated the jungle continent of Lustria. The ignorant call the creatures lizard men. The wise know them as defenders of the world. <laughs> In ages past, the Old Ones had a plan. But then the Stellar Gates collapsed, the Old Ones fled, and demons flooded the mortal plain. Led by the Slan, the Lizard Men fought the demons that surged across Lustria. Yet, it was the Elves that created the Great Vortex. A swirling maelstrom that siphoned the world of chaos, withering demon guide. The world was saved, but the vortex endures only because it is bolstered by the power of the Slan, via the Great Warding. If the warding should fail, the demons will return. The forked tongue of Sotek hangs low in the sky. The slam have felt it. Now I see it brighter, clearer. It's his disturbs the winds of magic. Look, Tagrax, the sacred plaques. One prophecy shines above all others. Vortex of the warm blood. But the full meaning cannot be if our master will not wake, we journey to the city of the sun.
Okay, so there we go. Here's a little text to explain what's going to be happening. So Lord Mazamundi is now fully roused and ready to enact his interpretations of the great plan. But first, we need to take care of some naughty Norse that have decided to invade and get them out of the lustrine interior. So I'll see you next on the campaign map. So he should be talking right now. However, I think I've turned his audio off because the advisor was annoying me. But we all want to hear Mazamundi talk, although I can't. Uh, uh, let's do the text and audio. Although I think I've ruined it. So apologies about that, but there we go. Right, so I think that's it. I think we can now go ruffle stomping our way through Lustria. Uh, so here we go, That's this is about how they play, uh, talking about the geomantic web and the blessed spawning, which is very nice indeed. Mission issued, okie dokie, so we just need to construct a hexatal. Oh, sorry, build something in hexatal. Basically upgraded it. Uh, so those warm bloods that attack us do so with purpose. Let us strike back. There we go. Okay, and if we defeat them, then we get eight ancient plaques, which help us uh, make all the rituals. And yeah. So uh, I should also point out that I have recorded part one of this before. However, my audio on the mic went absolutely crazy. It basically sounds like I'm talking like Mazamundi, uh, which is a bit odd. <laughs> Uh, we'll have to move on from that, but let's get the temple precinct, and I think we'll also get the underground lagoon, which allows the recruitment of Saurus Spears and Saurus Warriors, because currently we can only recruit Skinks, and I would prefer to be able to recruit um, Sauruses. So here is the, the great one, the wise one, the only one we ever need, Mazamundi, and I think we'll just probably march him in. Ooh. Okay, well, we'll just march him in and take back the monolith of the fallen gods. And while I, we don't really need to fight this, I'm still going to, so we can kind of get an idea of what Lord Mazamundi is capable of and show off the Bastilladon in battle. Also, if you can sometimes hear weird squeaks, it's my chair. It's a cheap chair. So, my bad. Okay, it appears we're fighting at night, which I haven't actually had before, or just the lighting seems a bit murky, so that's a shame. Um, every time I've fought this before, it's been nice and bright, but however, let's take a little look. Oh my gosh, he's big. Oh, that's big. Anyway, that's enough Winds of Magic. So there, we are, there he is, the wise, the great one, Mr. Maz, Mazamundi. And here is our Bastilladon with the Solar Engine. So this is a bit of a choke point battle. Uh, we can only actually attack through here, but that shouldn't be a problem. And the result of the battle should be... Well, it should go in my favour. If it doesn't, I'll be uh, highly surprised. And let's keep Mazamundi there. So here are my Saurus Warriors. Actually, these are the Temple Guard, I believe. Yeah, here are my Temple Guards. And then these are the regular Saurus Warriors. But let's, uh, let's start the battle, and we'll give it the good old Rambler try. I'm not sure if they're going to charge for it. Oh, they might be charging forward. That would be bad for them. May be yep, I don't need your advice. Yet I advise caution. Thank you, Mr. Old Man, but I'll take control of my destiny. One does not need the opinion of an old fogey. At least, not for this. So there we go, we're firing our solar engine and taking out... Oh, we didn't take out any. Oh, we took out a few. Took out a few of the Chaos Marauders here. But it should be a relatively easy battle. I can pretty much hold position here. Looks like they're coming at me. Come at me, bro. I don't really sound cool saying that, do I? Okay. So I'm going to disable skirmish mode. I've, it's really quite frustrating. 
sometimes, uh, especially when we're not really in too much danger. Okay, so let's get our javelins to fire. Uh, okay, so I think the Chaos Wolf's Hounds are going to charge my solar engine. But we've got a Bastilodon, so I think that they'll be more than a match for the... <laughs> yep, I think it's going to be more than a match for the Chaos Warhounds. Saurus Warriors can go charging on in. And Mazamundi can actually apply some buffs. So let's give our buffs to the Saurus Warriors here. My Skinks can start targeting them. I think... Oh yeah, made the Wolfhounds route relatively easily. And Mr. Mazamundi, what else can you do? You can replenish hit points. Let's do it for our Saurus Warriors here. And actually, you sir, you can actually go into battle yourself, I think. Okay, yeah, but that, bas that Bastilodon is just <laughs> going out. Absolute ham! Absolute ham! Oh, Mazamundi's actually in battle now. Here he is, the great one, the wise one. Oh my gosh, throwing down his magic. Do not mess with a slam. And here are my temple guards. Yeah, that fight would always go in their favor. In fact, it's almost a mass route. It is a mass route. Let's just... Uh... Who hasn't routed? Oh, it's just them, and they're considering it. There we go. That's done it. That's the ticket. That's what we wanted. In three minutes, we managed to beat... Beat those, uh, Tavi Spear Breaker. Oh, Tavi. You should know not to mess with Mazamundi. Right, decisive victory. Bam. Gain some loot. And we're just going to occupy it as it's in our home province. And that's an extra bit to our coffers. Very nice indeed. So Mazamundi has leveled up to level 2. Usually I always go for the inspiring presence to start off with. Because I do like added morale. Then I'll probably go down the route marcher and then start upgrading his um, his magic. Right. Now, uh, a bit of a problem here where we've got two spawn pools of the lower car. So what I can do, I can just eliminate that. There's no point having duplicates in the same province. Uh, I don't really need them. It's just a waste. So we'll get some added skinks to the battle. Sorry, I should say to the army. And I think that's all we can do for the first turn. And here we can see the overview of the map uh, for Warhammer 2. It's actually quite large. Very large indeed. Actually, I can take a little look at the diplomacy. See if we can get some kind of the Empire. Hello. I am ready to parley. I hope your words are wise. Would you like a trade agreement, New World Colonies? So be it. Yes, you would. Very good. That's all I'm giving you. I probably won't give you non aggression pact. Can Mazamundi move off? No, he's not. He's in a recruitment stance. And we can replenish what we need to here. So end the turn. Right, so my public order is currently falling. It's only as well, it's only falling at minus five at the moment. Pretty much because I've got Mazamundi and his army garrisoned. As soon as I take them out, that'll drop down to minus ten, I presume. I can't really do a whole lot about it at the moment. I do need taxes coming in. But we shouldn't really get a rebellion. I was gonna go march on Ziggurat of Dawn and unite the entire province. After that, we'll head down and try and finish off. Loxterian of the coal. At least that's the plan. You know, things can always change. But that should be fine. Oh, and we do have a free slot to build something. Uh, so I'll probably go for the skink foraging camp so we can unlock the tablet of spawning. There we are. Okay, so now, as soon as we recruit our technology, we get an extra 500 in the coffers. All we need to do for technology is go pop. And then click on the tablet of spawning, which reduces our recruitment cost for skink and charmeleon units. Or chameleon, sorry, chameleon. Boom. And then, just like this, Mazamundi is going to take another settlement. And that's 
Oh, by using the... Um, ooh, what's this? The Sea of Serpents. Ooh. Uh, so using the A Q and E keys, you can actually change your orientation of the map or which way you're looking. So let's just go and take Ziggurat of Dawn. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. That's now done. And again, I'm just going to occupy so we can control the province. Oh, we gained armor. Okay. So it's the hide of the cold ones. Nice. And that really has added a lot to our coffers. And we have a total of... Oh. 19 plaques. Okay, so, commandment. Uh, what this does is will enable us to issue a commandment to the entire province. Um, that's not it. No, if I click on the settlement, I'm probably going to go for the alignment of crafting, which increases income, growth, and public order. Because our public order at the minute is atrocious. And that does need to be fixed. Uh, I will also upgrade Mazamundi to the Root Marcher. And recruit some Saurus Warriors. Okay, Saurus Spears or Saurus Warriors. Fairly similar stats. Predatory Senses, Anti-Large. Hmm. I'll get one Saurus Spears and two Warriors. And that should be fine. So the, currently, like, the end turn phase isn't really that much to worry about. Of course, I do have them all on, so we can see all of the AI doing their choices. I imagine once we've taken care of the Skeggy, we'll probably have to move against... Actually, we could always move north and start colonising all of these places, such as the Fallen Gates. Oh! Oh, nice. So what is this? Ooh. Okay. Right. Boom. Issued a commandment. And now, for sure, I'm going to do the building which increases our public order. I can also upgrade this to a sacred spawning cavern, which I will, of course, do. And we had to actually have another slot. Which could generate income. Or we can go down the gold mining pit. And that decreases our recruitment cost for Croxagore's Temple Guards. Ah. Oh. Don't mind if I do. And that's only a thousand. So I can move Mr. Mazamundi. Wait a second. Why can't... Oh, I can move him now. Okay. Well, let's move you over here. Dun -dun -dun. He is moving. Okay. And I'll probably recruit two Saurus Spears and one Saurus Warrior. Only one mission at the moment is to recruit the Skink Researchers. Oh, sorry, do the Skink Research thing in the bottom. Right, so they're in a mustering stance at the moment. I believe that's when here they're recruiting. Yeah, that must be. So rather than allow them to get any more powerful, so they've currently got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Do not uh, along with another army of eight, along with their garrison, which... Okay, so... We have a chance to win this. I am going to engage Losterixirin of the Coal. The Skeggy must be eliminated from our territory, so they will get a lot of reinforcements. Need to worry about those, and also the Marauders of Great Weapons, apart from that. I think we can go in and fight. And I believe I may have... We are duplicating the battle which I fought earlier. Okay, this time I will gamble. See if those wins are more favourable. They are! Yes, there we go. Going up to 16. Right, so we'll start our deployment. And at the moment, you can see that I am... Well... Before the reinforcements come on the field, we've got 1,702 lizard men. Some of them are skinks, which aren't that powerful. Uh, but then it's the Saurus warriors, which should keep us in the fight. Which do look very nice. Indeed, like the models, you know, they look fantastic. And also this map does look pretty nice too. Oh, wow. Okay. 
Yeah, that's that. That's a, that's a good rock formation. <laughs> right. So the plan is to try and work my way up this flank and try and make it so we're more on even ground because they are defending so they can hold the high ground for as long as they want. So I'm in a bit of a tricky situation. Okay. So what we'll do, we'll get our Saurus Spears to help support the Skinks. And our main force of Saurus Warriors can work their way up the flank. Uh, the Temple Guard can hang around with Mazamundi. He, they can be his personal guard. And we do have a couple of Skink cohorts too, which will send up the center as well. In fact, it's probably best to send the Skinks first, isn't it? To kind of screen their approach. I am going to remove Skirmish. And we'll advance. I prefer not to engage my Sauruses until we really have to. Legions of Lizardmen pouring forth. Okay, so this is my flanking um, section of the army. Can head up here. Their speed is quite slow. They can't really move too quickly. I'll probably move the Bastillodon up with the main force. And when I fought this battle before, it was actually quite chaotic. Um, again, you know, full transparency, I have recorded part one once before. However, it didn't go how I wanted it. Well, the audio is messed up, which is incredibly frustrating, I'm sure you can understand. But, you know, these things happen and we'll persevere. Right, here comes our army marching up the hill. We do have... Oh, that is... That does give them quite a bit of an advantage. And then we do... Should I have my men... Uh, there, there we go. Moving through the forest. Okay, looks like they're currently staying up on that hill, which could be a problem. Well, I guess we'll find out. Okie dokie. I should probably halt my force here as they're coming on in. Let's make sure the flank is protected from those marauder horsemen that are coming down. Looks like they're actually going to engage my spears, which is... Oh, God! They're going flying! Um, but that should now be an uneven engagement. The Saurus Spear should recover and take out the Marauder Horsemen. In fact, I think they're already trying to rout. And it looks like my ambush force is almost in position. Mazamundi and the Temple Guard can take position up here. And is that another... Ah! supported by Chaos Marauders now. So I might lay down a little bit of fire on those Marauder Horsemen. There's no sense in um, kind of charging on in there recklessly. That's generally what I used to do when I played uh, <laughs> Total War. Maybe I'm learning from Hearts of Iron 4 that it's not such a good idea. Uh, actually, Mazamundi, are you in range to buff up? You are, yeah. Let's add buffs to our Saurus Spears here. So this has proven to be a bit of an uneven engagement. In fact, more troops are now pounding down the hills. I'm going to have to set up my other Saurus Spears. Wait, I thought I had more than... Oh no, it's the Skink Cohorts that are in battle. Okay, form the line, form line. Temple Guard get in position. Mazamundi, get over there. Start firing. And now let's unleash our flanking manoeuvre. I'm hoping our centre is strong enough to hold. That flank could be... In a... Okay, let's send them into combat. Temple guards, get them in. Saur spears, get them in. Okay, so here come out the um, Saurus Warriors. Going to send them right down. Mazamundi, I might actually have to send into battle. But still, Adon, you're going to be better in combat. Uh, the, these, these, though, they're very tired. But they are doing a decent job. 
I think they've probably got quite a few kills. Uh, 138 kills. So, they're doing good. Mazamundi is also in battle. Our flank is going nicely. That should hopefully crumble uh, most of their divisions. Ooh! Skin Cohort are struggling a little bit. They'll do fine. And Mazamundi, I think, is just having an absolute field day. So this engagement will go my way. And with Mazamundi in here, we don't need to worry about a thing. Good job, Mazamundi. Boom! Looks like it's going to be a chain route. Yeah. I'll try and kill as many as people as possible. I prefer people not get away. And I'll absolutely crush most of them. So keep on pushing. Despite the fact that they're routing, we need to make sure they never rise again to oppose the lizard men. Oh no, you can keep up. Mazamundi, you can buff yourself up. Okay, so Lorogson is trying to get out of there. Uh, so I just need to kind of make sure I kill as many as possible, so I'll see you back on the campaign map. Right, so we gained a nice bit of loot. We also took out third... Oh, they lost 1,100 troops uh, compared to our 360. What we can do here is either release captives, exterminate, or kill and eat. And I will probably do that to help restore my units to strength. Now, I'm probably just going to take... Ooh, we've unlocked a right. Cool. Now, I'm probably just going to go and take uh, Skeggy in just a sec. And let's try and bump up Harmonic Convergence. And plonk. Auto-resolve this. Engra Groven has now been killed. We gain more loot. I do love a good little bit of loot. And we'll just occupy that settlement too. So he's been killed in battle. And I believe Mazamundi has once again levelled up. And I think we'll go for the Curse of the Midnight Wind. And now he is taking attrition because he doesn't actually control a settlement anymore. And we can... Oh, there's a settlement upgrade available. Right. So we can upgrade to the spawn pool of the Braves. I will probably invest in Lizardmen Plaza. She was my current garrison for Hexatal. That's not too bad. Oh, nice. Nice. And it's a walled settlement, which is also what we want. So hopefully, my public order will get better in the province once we've built... Um, where did I build that? Ah, one turn away. And I think I... I'm not going to waste my money. Well, not waste. I'm not going to use my money upgrading that settlement just yet. Right, so let's end the turn once again. And see what's happening. Okay, Clan Nor can stay away. I'd rather take care of Skaven than humans. I feel that they're going to be... Ah, so they're suiciding. I think. No. Oh, they're besieging me. Uh, okay. Well, that that's not going to stand, is it? Let's just do an auto-resolve there. And once again, eat them. They must be eated. And then we'll also finish off you, sir. And again, once again, eat you. And I believe that's probably that faction destroyed now. Yeah, faction destroyed the Skeggy. And what we'll do, so we've got... So I'm just looking, I have, this is the first time I've kind of looked through all of this before. Um, oh, I would like to get the Comet of Cassandora. So let's actually get the Net of Amatok and Apotheosis. Nice, that's an upgrade. Okay, well if I... Well, how's my public order looking? So we can also upgrade the Lizardmen Plaza here. 
And I'll just march back into here for now. Okay. So that's slowly getting better. And then I'll probably build um, some more Old One monuments in the Monolith of the Fallen Gods and Ziggurat of Dawn. Right, well I think this is a good place to end part one. I think we've achieved quite a lot in six turns. We've actually secured a province, the Isthmus of Lustria, and begun to take back the Settlers' Coast. Uh, so I'm not really sure what to do next. So we could go for the Forest of the Viper, and in fact that would probably be quite prudent to... Oh, take back the Fallen Gates from... Oh. Okay. Yeah, I should probably try and take back some of these and really secure my empire. But yeah, if you enjoyed the episode, make sure to leave a like. Uh, if we can get a thousand likes for part one, that would be great. And until next time, everyone, I bid you a very, very good day. Many thanks to Ivan, Wyatt, Miss Lexicon, Random the Randomer, Nicholas, Travis, Sam, and iSide Productions for being ridiculous, rambler supporters on Patreon. And many thanks to all the other patrons, too.